and welcome to my picking journey. Today I'm introducing this channel and this is the first video of the series. Uh, I called it picking journey because this will be the journey through learning lock picking. For me, I'm a beginner lock picker. I don't have much experience. I do know a lot of, about locks, but as you know, experience and practice makes the difference. Now first I'll start with the story how I got into lock picking and I will show you also a tool. This here is the first tool I made with which I managed to unlock a door. It was the door of my home in my village. I was locked out. I was still a kid but I went to the garage. I found this rod, bend it, cut it um, properly to fit inside the hole of the lock and yeah that was when my passion got started and this led to me making some tools because I was just curious if I can unlock the other <laughs> locks at my house and then I found that the those locks are most of the locks that you see. Just a normal European cylinder that uses this kind of key. And well, how do we go about those? Well, the first thing I came to find online was the famous Chinese set of uh, random picks. I got this and yeah, well, with this set, you could unlock some locks. It's not bad. I mean, it works, but still, you know, I also <laughs> had this little cute credit card with filled with lock picks where you have a hook, a city rake, a snake rake, and what was it? Um, a half diamond and a very strange tension wrench which was very difficult to use. I tried those and then I stopped. Uh, I haven't practiced a lot since then, that was years ago. And now I want to start again, but really learn to properly pick locks. So the first thing I got is a set. I got myself this set uh, out of Amazon. It was I don't know, around 30 euros, even less. And let's see what we have inside. Give me a moment and I'll take them out. So, as you see, we have three um, practice locks. I wouldn't call them practice locks, but they help in learning how locks actually work. We also have silicon cases for the locks, for example, Let's take this one, you see, this one is, come on, focus, work with me. This one has five pins and this case goes over the lock, just like that. And I guess the usage is so that in order to practice without looking at the pins, you will cover the lock like that. It has one for the padlock, it has one for the Euro cylinder dimple lock and unfortunately come on focus unfortunately I cannot fit the locks with the silicon cases inside the boxes so yeah maybe I could cut the foam around but anyway so you saw that one we uh, this here is a euro type cylinder dimple lock and this one is bitted two ways so there are two keys with two different biddings for both sides unfortunately i still do not own dimple picks so this will come handy in the future also we have a padlock the padlock is with a normal pin tumbler keyway and has one, two, three, four, five, six pins. 
cool oh let's leave this for here for a while and get those out of the way we have a user's guide and this user's guide is for this thing here which is the goods from the package let's open this up show what's inside it's a nice neat casing with your flaps on the sides and their total of how many are those well 12 picks plus some tension tensioners mm, the case is quite nice nylon and give me a second I, i'll lay those out for you so that you could see them better here it is the whole set as you see the 12 picks we have some tension wrenches for dimple locks as far as i know those are exactly for dimple locks we have this one which is quite nice and uh, you find it very rarely in pick sets i think uh, it provides very good tension i pretty much like it we have one normal tensioner bent uh, around the head we have this one which uh, currently I do not own it come on I do not own any locks that need this kind of tension but I think it will come in handy in the future and we also have a wafer jiggler standard key I think but the most interesting thing course are the picks and also their names now this one is a triple ball rake the focus is not working with me today come on we have a small wave rake as, as they call it this one is quite interesting and I think it will do a good job still I haven't seen it anywhere else till now. Uh, third, we have this one, which is double ball rake. That's the number three. We continue on with the strangest pick I've seen. This one is called big wave rake. But as you see, I think actually one will have Quite a difficulty to put this one into a keyway it's quite huge actually now let's continue we we have this one which is a Bogota Bogota hump 4 as they call it uh, well we have a snake rake a city rake the city rake they call it come on where is this single-sided rake okay ah snake rake as well and this one this one is slim wave rake quite interesting design uh, well we'll see after that we continue with a short hook as they call it I don't think this is a short hook it looks like a single Bogota like the first hump here in the front but I don't that's definitely not a short hook for me we have a half diamond we have then <laughs> the way they call them those are a slight hook and a gonzo hook well for me they're short and medium hooks but I hope I'm not getting those wrong uh, this is called a broken key in the user guide by the way here it is for you to see and yeah now also I'd like to show you the first lock I showed you already uh, that's the first lock uh, I played with I've picked it open many times come on focus uh, and at the end I decided to also cut it open in order for me to be able to uh, got this and also I did a very poor job in trying to do myself a practice lock but I'll show you this one in some future videos for now let's see how the lock 
how locks really work. After all, we have to start with the basics. Well, we have a lock, open keyway, we have a tensioner, we apply tension and now we hope that the focus guards will be with us. Of course, I can rake this. First of all, let's let's demonstrate raking and I will use this interesting rake for the purpose. I'm trying to do this on the camera, so excuse me. So, as you see, this one is putting tension on the pins inside the lock. We apply small, slight tension and, well, <laughs> from this acrylic practice lock, what can we expect? But the real deal is not raking, it's learning single pin picking. So let's try that, if I can find the keyway. As I said, I don't have a lot of practice, so now it's the time for you to enjoy <laughs> my learning process. Because most of the things I'll do for you live on the channel. And now... As you can see, I'm searching for a binding P key. P. <laughs> and come on. Nope. And as you see here, I overset one of the pins. So I'll have to release slight tension and then tension back. Come on. I can't even get the pick inside this. So, let's try again. So, the last pin. Nothing. And I'm also trying to do this on the camera, so it's not so easy as I thought. Hmm. And I overset it again. And... One pin is missing, and that is, I think, the last one. But I can't reach it for some reason. And here it is. We get an open. Well, that's the introduction to my channel. I will be learning how to pick locks properly for you guys. And I have some things ready for you to show, to show you. And yeah, if you like my content, want to support me, please subscribe, hit like, it helps a lot and share my videos. Thank you for your time, stay legal and till next time, bye.